thing that we would like to have delivered, and that is some cooler air. Yeah, it is where December is that? the 2nd. What was the high today? Take a guess. 80. One. Ah, oh, not bad. Goodness. 81 degrees. Yeah, it looks like tomorrow we're going to make another run at those 80s. And then we've got some cooler weather headed our way heading into early next week. Let's get to it. Lots to talk about this evening. Uh, you know where winter is? It is in a place you would not expect. Can you believe a blizzard warning in effect for portions of Hawaii this evening? Of course, it would be for the peaks of Mauna Loa and Mauna Kea. These are the two tallest mountains on the face of the earth. And of course, we're talking about not only heavy snow, but how about winds in excess of 120 miles per hour? I did not misspeak. Yeah, crazy conditions out there in Hawaii. Crazy conditions here as well. Check this out. Over the last 10 days, we're talking about temperatures well above normal. In fact, again, 81 degrees today, a lot of red on this map, and it looks like we're going to hit one more day before things finally start to trickle back towards normal. Here's a look at those highs. It was 80 in McKinney today, 79 degrees in Dallas, 80 in Fort Worth, 79 degrees in Cleburne. So temperatures will remain above normal over the next day or two, and those temperatures have not cooled down a whole lot. 66 right now in Dallas. This is still warmer than our average daytime high. For this time of year. So let's get to it. Weather where you live for this evening. Uh, the model showing about 60, 62. That's about where we are now. We're not going to fall a whole lot more. It's going to be a pretty balmy evening with highs tomorrow once again approaching those mid to upper 70s. In our northern counties, da, Collin and Denton County, 59 in Denton tonight, 60 in Frisco, Allen, and 62 degrees there in Plano. Highs tomorrow once again moving up into those mid to upper 70s. And in our southern counties, Ellis and Johnson, temperatures generally near 60 tonight and highs tomorrow. Should make it once again into those upper 70s. Nationwide, this is incredible, folks. This is December the 2nd. We're talking about 50 in Omaha, same up there in Billings, Montana. Very, very warm for this time of year. Where's the cold air? It's here in Alaska, where it's currently 40 below zero there or close to it in Fort Yukon. The problem is there's no mechanism to bring that cold air to the south. The reason why, we have what we call a positive Arctic oscillation, a very positive one at that. And when you have that, you have low pressure up here at the pole, and it does not really allow that cold air to move south. If you have a negative Arctic oscillation, the pressures get really strong up top, and it pushes that Arctic air to the south. But as long as we stay in a positive phase, this is what's going to happen. The cold air stays to our north. We get glancing blows of this as weak cold fronts work their way into north Texas. And I can tell you looking all the way out towards Christmas, there's just not much in the way of cold air. So as we take a look at the future track, once again, we showed you this at the top of the show, a few light showers heading into Saturday and Sunday before that front finally works its way on through the area. And that means we're talking about temperatures all the way down. How about into the upper 50s heading into Monday and another quick cool down as we head into Wednesday. We'll have more news and weather coming up right after the break. Stay with us.